Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today what we have for you, our friends over at Testman have sent us over a couple of meters to test out. Now they list both of these meters as homeowner's meters, handyman meters. And they're both smart digital meters. And this one's the TSM-522S. This one's the TSM-192. So let's have a quick look at them to see if they do indeed fill the role of a handyman's meter. And let's see how well they work, especially in the auto mode, because auto mode covers voltage DC, voltage AC, ohms, and continuity. And for your average homeowner, that's generally going to be about 90% of what they're going to need a meter for. Let's open this one up first. Comes in a nice little case. It is very, very compact. Nice little meter. It's got touch probes and they don't feel too bad. This meter doesn't have any, as I many current modes at all, which uh, is, is good for a handyman meter. I guess it doesn't need heavy duty wires. Yeah, it's got a nice metal insert here. Okay, little spring contacts here for the connection of the battery to the board. And does it say in here anywhere what kind of plastic this is? No, it does, does feel a lot like ABS though. Okay, so we've got uh, a pretty nice separation of the wires here. Coming in, coming into opposite sides of the uh, PC board there. And then we've got a good long resistor chain here, which uh, will increase the voltage tolerance of it. But there doesn't seem to be anything in the way of NPCs or MOVs in there. A clean little board. Nothing wrong with that. No fuses, of course, it has no current ranges and uh, that alone makes it a little bit safer for the handyman. All right, let's put it back together again and uh, have a look at the other one. Okay, this one comes in a nice little case as well. All right, maybe this one had been taken out before. This one looks like it's all plastic wrapped here. Let's have a look at these uh, probes. A little bit thicker. They're, I guess they're just a standard probe. Not terrible at all, but you can see the price of these meters. I think in in, uh, in U.S. dollars, they're both under 20 bucks. So they're pretty well priced. And did we have some batteries in there? We did. Or Duracells again. Let's, um, let's see if we can get into this one. This one has a, a rubber case around it for protection. And a sturdy ABS chassis. So let's, uh, let's pop in here. Both of these meters are extremely light. They come with C certification. There's no sign of TUV or UL or CSA. In their Amazon ads, they do say that they have been tested to CAT standards. This one here is rated CAT 2 to 600 volts, CAT 3 to 300 volts. This one's rated CAT 3 to 600 volts. But again, it's, it's a CE certification. So it's, it, they're self-certified by the company itself. Just... All right, what are we looking at here? Again, we have a uh, great separation here coming into the board. We have uh, our resistor train here. It's not quite as long as the one that we saw in there, but it's there. And we do have a PTC here. That's about it, but again, a nicely laid out board gold plated very clean design very cleanly made again no fuses it doesn't have any current ranges so it doesn't need them and again that makes it inherently safer for the 
average homeowner who might not be an electrical wizard. They just wants to check out his lawnmower or his car or motorcycle or see if there's a, a voltage at a, an outlet. And these have a couple of interesting modes to let them do that without even putting both probes into the outlet. So we'll have a look at those as well. But I'm liking what I'm seeing here as far as uh, construction concerned. I mean, Tesman seem to be making a real effort to enter into this market reasonably. They're calling these things homeowner's meters, handyman meters. And uh, it looks to me like that's what they're geared for. Again, I, I didn't see any indication of what kind of plastic is made, made out of, but uh, it, it looks and feels to me like a uh, ABS plastic. It's a very, very strong, like there's no flex in this whatsoever. And even though it's a fairly thin meter, so it's a, a good, strong chassis. The same with this one. We'll pop it back into its uh, casing here. Okay, so they both come up in auto mode. And uh, as indicating here, auto mode is these four ranges here, DC volts, AC volts, ohms, and continuity. These other ranges here would have to be selected. So you'd have to go into function and go to the one that you want, and that will get you into those. Back to auto mode, we'll turn this one on. Comes up in auto mode as well. Do the same over here. That's another good thing these plastic razor blades are good for is taking stuff like this off without scratching. There we go. And they're both very clear. All right. Now, how do you move? How do you move around with this one? I just press the functions. Yeah. So we just press these functions and. Okay. Let's test them in auto mode. Uh, we got the probes attached to this one. Like I say, the probes are not too bad. These ones feel a little bit better because they're thin. These ones are, you know, they're PVC probes, but they're not the worst I've ever had. And we'll put, oh, we'll have to take these out first. Both meters come with uh, convertible probes here. You can take these tips off to get a longer contact area, or you can keep them on for trying to probe into sensitive areas where you don't want to short. So that's, that's a nice feature too. And both probes, both meters have those probe protectors. And uh, so what we're going to do here, we have a one, two, three, four. I couldn't get five, <laughs> but uh, we'll see how close they come to this and how quickly they do. But first I want to check them on these ohms ranges here. So let's see how quickly they can detect what it is they're measuring and how quickly they auto range. That's pretty good. That's good too. That's pretty accurate. So let's, it, th these are nice and fast too. Yep. Let's go up to 10 meg ohms. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with the speed. This one should come up, like the 1.0 should go up continuity, right? And 1K ohm, 10K ohms, 10 meg ohms. These, uh, they agree perfectly. They're, they're good. They're accurate. I would expect them to be. Now, these things here, we're not gonna be able to test in auto mode, so we'll try those in momentarily. I just want to see how close we can come with voltage here. So we'll do the little one first. So let's see what we got up here. I oh, see this drifting around. I don't know whether this is drifting, the power supply is drifting, something's drifting. But anyway, we just compare it with the prime in here. One, two, three, seven, one, two, three, five. That's really good. And it was very quick as well. Let's see, here we go. One, two, four. Not bad, not bad at all. I think that's well within the tolerances of this thing quickly check it with the manual they both come with very nice little manuals and if you can see here they come with six languages English being the first one in the book and let's see what they're saying the specification on accuracy is where was that here we go so for DC voltage you're looking at yeah plus or minus 0.5 percent plus three counts so so far these meters have been within that and I, I would expect them to be so, well let's have a look at a slightly higher DC voltage here. Let's bring it up to like 30 volts or so. 32.02. So let's see what these guys say. 32.0, right on. They are so fast. 32.1. 
I'm amazed how quick they are determining what it is they're measuring and then auto ranging to that. All right, let's check them out on the mains here. 120, 121. That's around about what we have here, 121 volts. It can vary. Sometimes it's as low as 117, sometimes as high as 123. Let's see what the little one does. 120. This one lights up nice and red to tell you, hey, you're doing something that's potentially dangerous. Yeah, so they, they agree within their stated uh, specifications. That's beautiful. This one has a really unique ability to test phase. If you have a three phase supply, you want to know what direction it's rotating in. You can use this meter here to check that and it uses the uh, non-contact voltage to do that. Unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it to you. I don't know if the average handyman would be really interested in that, but I mean, they threw it in there. They could and they did. So let's now try the NCV, see if that's working. Okay, let's uh, press the function button here to get NCV. There it is. So let's see if we can detect it. Seems to be working fine. And now live is a unique thing. If you put it into live mode, you only need one probe to do this. So it's telling me that's the hot and this is not. So it can detect which is hot and which is not. So that, that's really handy for somebody who wants to go around and just check to see if uh, an outlet is good or not. He uh, needn't put both wires in. So, okay, let's check those modes out over here as well. So we we'll go around, uh, it has those, both those modes as well. We we'll go up here to NCV. Yeah, quite sensitive here. It's also got the live function. So let's go over to that one. And I've just got the one lead plugged in at all on this one. And we'll see how well this one works. So it's not bringing up the neutral, but it is bringing up the line. Very good. I think they're, those are really nice features, especially in a, a handyman meter. Let's have a look at the diodes and stuff like that and just see what they're like. I would imagine they're okay. Those are not very high accuracy measurements anyway, because diodes depend on what current you're putting them through and capacitors depend on what frequency you're looking at them at. So there can be a lot of variances between different meters. This one doesn't have any capacitance or diode checking. This one, however, does have that. Now we can check frequency here. We can check capacitance, we can check diodes. So let's check the diodes first and see how that works out. So here we've got a Schottky diode, 0.23, it's right on. 5.7 for the silicon diode. It will not check LEDs. So it doesn't have enough voltage to check the LEDs. It'll light up a red LED, but it won't give you its forward voltage. Let's go on to the capacitance mode here. Now I know that 23 PF uh, is no good. So we'll start off with 540 PF. Good enough. We'll go up to 470 nanofarads. It's going to take a little bit long, 486. That's good. And this is going to take quite a while. Sit back, go get a sandwich. Yeah, 436 UF. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with those measurements there. Let's get uh, let's get this onto a function generator and we look at some frequencies. You know, it doesn't say what the maximum frequency is, but it does say have a, it does have a 200 kilohertz range. Let's check there. Let's start at 200 kilohertz and see where we lose it. Uh, if it's going to do the 200 kilohertz, it's going to do the rest of them. Okay, so I've got it set up here. I've got the function generator set up for 200 kilohertz sine wave. 4 volts peak to peak, and let me turn it on. That's pretty good. Okay, let's start bringing it up 100 kilohertz at a time to see where we lose it. So 300 kilohertz, 400 kilohertz, 0.5 megahertz, 0.6 megahertz, 0 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 1 megahertz. Let's go up 1 megahertz at a time. 2 megahertz, so it does actually have a megahertz range, although they didn't list it in the manual. 3 megahertz, 4 megahertz, overload. That's it. Hard stop at 4.1 megahertz there. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Well, everything checks out. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, well, let's see my comments on them with regard to whether these would be good homeowner meters. And I think, yes, they would. Um, would I use them in a Cat 3 environment up to 300 volts or 600 volts? Probably not. But as a homeowner, I'm not going to come across that. I think they do make great handyman meters. And I think for the price, 
Uh, and if, I, if I'm not mistaken, they are under, both of them are under $20 US, something like that. Very inexpensive meters. And yet they work as advertised. So I have no complaints with that. I mean, if a meter doesn't work as advertised, I have a problem. If it works as advertised, I don't have a problem with it. You just read the specifications. If it's going to do for you what you want to do for it, you can rely on these to come through. I give them a thumbs up for that. They do exactly what they say they're supposed to do. They both have a hold function as well, by the way. So if you take a measurement, uh, you can press the hold button. It'll hold that measurement for you. And they also have flashlights. So this one also has a flashlight. This one doesn't need a backlight because it is a, an OLED. But it also has the flashlight. Flashlights are handy if you're working in a place where you don't have a lot of light. All right, guys, thanks for coming out uh, to join me today. I hope you got something out of this. I'm going to leave links to these down in Amazon down below. And uh, Tessman gave me some codes for discounts, so I'll leave those down there too. And if you know, if you need a, a meter, you want to buy a gift for somebody who's just the handyman, just getting into that sort of thing, I think either one of these would, would be perfectly all right. Well built, well designed, meet the specifications, and they work. Okay, folks. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.